Hi, I'm Howard Griffith, and today I'm at the University of Minnesota, where I'm going to have an opportunity to sit with the high-energy new head football coach, P.J. Fleck. And we're going to talk all about recruiting. So, Coach, tell us, tell us where we are right now. <laughs> well, we're standing in the, at the athlete courtyard, and I think this is absolutely phenomenal for all of our student-athletes. And I love the name of it, the Athletes Village, mm. because it reminds you of Olympic Village, right, where all the athletes go, stay, interact, get to know each other. That's really important here at the University of Minnesota. Well, how they made it and the design of what they're making, it kind of reminds you of your, your, your New York City at Times Square. Okay. So there's going to be ribbons and messaging all around. Mm -hmm. And when they walk into our facility, we want our positivity and our culture to hit them right in the face. Talk a little bit about Bofer Talk. <laughs> I think that's going to that's gonna catch fire around here well, if it hasn't already. Well, our players have about 217 vocabulary words that they're going to have to know that when we speak that word, we're all on the same page. Gopher Talk 101. Real, remarkable effort applied to life in all phases of their life, academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually. When you took the job, you walked into a tough situation from the previous regime that was here. How important was it for you to really sit down with the players that were already in the program that really had a lot of questions about the direction? Yeah, I, the first thing I wanted to do was get in front of our players, and they were still on break, right? So we did a, fa a Facebook Live. We had some guys in there, some guys weren't. But the biggest message I told them was, like, listen, listen, guys, I know that what's out there right now is probably not the most positive image of the University of Minnesota football that we want. But that's why I took the job, too. You know, I knew there was a fire, and I wanted to run into it. Uh, not that there was a ton of problems but I could be part of a solution um, and I did tell them I said specifically you know you did not pick me <laughs> I said that's not fair I said well, how you feel right now is, is justified but I picked you knowing everything that's going on I picked you and the and as much as you're gonna learn and what you're gonna learn in our culture it, you will understand why eventually tell me what is your recruiting philosophy you know I, I think the biggest thing is we're us it's not selling anything. Mm. It's literally saying, this is who we are. This is what this culture is about. This culture is not for everybody. My high energy and my positivity is not for everybody, and I understand that. But there's only one person I know how to be, and that's myself. And our staff has allowed me to do that. And then, obviously, Mark Coyle and President Kaler have allowed me to do that as well. Family, forget about me, I love you. Where the love equals sacrifice. What are you willing to give up for something that you never had? How important are the upperclassmen when you go through a transition <laughs> to get those guys on board yeah. to, so you don't have that attrition to lose those guys? The faster the seniors buy in, right? That's that word, buy in. Uh, what does that actually mean, right? It means really connecting. How fast can we get our staff with our seniors connecting on the same level? Because row the boat's great, Sky yeah. Yuma's great, our hyperculture's great. That's the message. But if we don't have any messengers to spread it, mm. In a very real way, it doesn't matter what I sell or what I say or what I teach or what I preach. It doesn't matter. We have to have the messengers be able to back that up from the head football coach, and it all starts with the seniors. That's what I, I really praise our seniors for doing that because through the workouts in the last two and a half weeks, they've been at the forefront. When you talk about having a footprint as far as recruiting is certain, what is your footprint going to be? You, I know you want to be here in Minnesota, and then will you branch out? Yeah, the biggest thing, what we've done is uh, around the Twin Cities, we have built a, about a six hour radius, strictly around that, six to eight hours. We did the same thing when we were at Western Michigan of Kalamazoo, because if they can drive to us, they can get to us, that's beneficial. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna hit different areas. We're gonna hit Texas, we're gonna hit Florida. You know, we're, we're gonna be able to hit some southern states. We have ties in New Jersey, right? A lot of the staff has worked at Rutgers, so we're gonna definitely uh, hit the New Jersey area, the Ohio's, Pennsylvania's. So we will be work in areas that we have ties to so uh, we're, we'll go anywhere if it's our type of guy but we want to make sure that we stay within our radius to get the best player and best person we can and the best talent we can by knowing as much information about them at the same time elite it's not bad it's not good it's not average it's not excellent but it's elite it's our uncommon different standard to life are, are you the closer i know you you officially you know can make that off no i get that Who's ultimately the closer? The closer is really, for us, is I'm going to talk to him probably the last time we'll talk to him on his last day of his official visit when he's actually on campus or in his high school the last time or the last phone call right before signing day. But I am extremely involved in recruiting. I love recruiting. I love relationship building. And I'm not one of those coaches that say, you know what, not right now. If it has to do with relationships and recruiting, bring it. If we have to stay, let's bring it. If I have to cancel a trip, let's do it. 
because recruiting is the lifeline of your program, and you're only as good as your coaching staff, and you're only as good as your players.